Give your hands in God's most of mine. Father Abraham has many sons and daughters to the truth. Yeah, and that's why we are sisters and uh, brothers. I, I, I want to ask you, sister, as well. You remember grade what? Grade one? Or grade two? You don't remember the Because I remember grade five. I remember grade five. I remember grade five. I remember a very young, purposeful, creative girl. In, uh, is, is Miss Williams? I, I know it's not Miss Samuels. I miss her, Miss Samuels, B2. Miss Smith? Miss Smith. Smith? Somebody know us and remember Miss Smith? Yes. I will even say. Yes. Um, like I was on the front bench, um, girl, you know. On the front bench and in the middle. Well, the first lady was a member of the class as well. Was it front bench, um, first lady or middle? <laughs> When we're coming from far, just look at the name and say, Medea. Yeah. Look what the next one and say, Medea. Yeah. Medea. You want to see me um, by the camera too? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. If I did dress up, look what the dress up and say, Medea. <laughs> All right, then. Don't you? Yeah, man. It's a wonderful day of worship. Are you ready to worship? Amen. If you're ready to worship, send me ready. Send me ready, man. Hallelujah. But I can't sing him. That's your job, sister. Yes. yes, yes. Our theme for today. Use your talent to be a hero. Not for selfishness. Give yourself a round of applause. Yes. Today is the last day of the month. What month is it? It's the second to last day. That's why I started to say, you know, she knows numbers. So I see 30 and she's very last. But there's a 31st day in November, the two. Yes. Is that October? Yes. And the month will last, the two. Yes. So in the month of October, we normally celebrate our H E Eros. Eros. Do you remember your Eros? Come on, man, we have to place the theme somewhere else. And so, because we're celebrating heroes, you would have noticed that all our themes for our lessons were focused on the heroes. And so, the last one in our day of fellowship here is focused on the heroes. If you look at your program, you will see where it says the theme use your talent to be a hero, not for selfish. Now, by virtue of the fact that we are one hour and 20 minutes from the time that we should have started, you had better buckle your seatbelt. You ready? Yeah. Buckle your seatbelt. I don't say anybody buckle your seatbelt. But look at my seatbelt here. Put on your seatbelt. Yeah. Yeah. And take your champagne too. Alright? And uh, we are going on a flight today. And uh, we are going to a place called. Where are we going? Alright. Alright. You go and mess up. This is what I'm talking We are going to the movie now. We are asking that as we go through the day, you be very orderly and very attentive. Because today is a day when children will be called to worship. And so we greet everyone within the sound of our voices. Our general overseer is here. Our first lady is here as well. Could you put your hands together for them? I am not bringing you welcome, but I am greeting you in Jesus' name. Somebody say, in all those who came on the back roads say in Jesus', Jesus name. name. You were victorious, alright? Yeah. And so we are all sunbeams for the Lord. We're going to make the best use of time. And so we have to be very expedite with its management. Okay? Alright, we'll begin with the opening song. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Everybody, please stand. Praise God.
Jesus wants me for a sunbeam to shine for me each day. In every way, try to please Him at home, at school, at play. A sunbeam, a sunbeam, Jesus.
message this night and open your mouth that Lord, you just bless them, Lord, you cover them under your blood, Lord, and allow them to, Lord, just get rid of all nervousness, Lord, get rid of all fears, Lord, allow them to be comfortable, Lord, allow them to understand that as long as they are here to serve you, Lord, you are always behind them, you are always guiding them, protecting them, Lord. Lord, I just ask that you bless Aaron, Lord, children, as they bring the welcome and the greeting, Lord, I ask that you bless each Sunday school that will raise the stage that I but I ask that you bless Overseer as he brings greetings to us, Lord, and Christina as she introduces the main speaker. And Lord, last but not least, I just ask that you bless Sister Oman, Lord, as she comes to us, Lord, to bring the main message I ask that you. Lord, I allow her to put away sins, Lord, and allow me to take precedence, Lord, in her words, Lord. I ask that you have prepared to. Lord, I allow your will to be done, and Lord, I just ask that whatever word you give to her today, it will be one that will bless, Lord, that will help to rejuvenate all those who are dead and But I just ask that, Lord, under the, the theme of using our talents, Lord, not for selfishness, but to be a hero. But I just ask that you allow talents to be showcased here today, Lord. I ask that you allow those talents to strengthen, Lord, to guide, to keep, to protect, Lord. All of our Sundays, the Lord, last but not least, I just ask, I just ask that, Lord, I will bless this to open my Lord. Lord, I allow her to put away sins, Lord, and allow me to take precedence, Lord, in her word, Lord. I ask that you have prepared to. Lord, I allow your will to be done, and Lord, I just ask that whatever word you give to her today, it will be one that will bless, Lord, that will help to rejuvenate all those who are dead and Lord, I just ask that, Lord, under the, the theme of using our talents, Lord, not for selfishness, but to be a hero. Lord, I just ask that you allow talents to be showcased here today. That you allow those talents to strengthen, Lord, to guide, to keep, to protect, Lord, all of our Sunday schools, our leaders, Lord. And I just ask that, Lord, as I have said, that you just allow our prayer to be answered today, Lord, and I turn to you on that behalf. Lord, what do I fail of us in doing this? I'll strengthen you, not to grant you unto us. In your name, through these messages that I ask you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I remember standing at the riverside and watching the Lord fall into the hand and say his nice and praise God. I just want to raise God. I remember standing at the riverside and watching her being baptized and saying to myself, I just want her to remain focused. Let us see the hands of those who are under 18 and they are baptized. After a long time, the Lord of those servants coming and were coming to meet them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverers unto me five talents. No, Lord, thou deliver, deliverers unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained the sight of five talents more. His Lord, his Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He had also that that received two talents came and said, Lord, deliver us unto me. Talents behold, I have gained two other talents beside me, beside me. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee rule over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one take talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art hard man, reaping where thou hast not, not soul, and gathering where thou hast not strong. And I was afraid, and went and hid, went and hid, sorry, thy talent in the earth. Oh, dear thou hast that is that. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, 
the viewers that I have to meet all the children. About the old lady. So selfishness got up 
And she said, well, me not hear my apple. And she walked away. So kindness and the lady, the apples. And the lady said to kindness, thank you. So 10 years after now, kindness and selfishness was sitting in church. They were having a conversation because they both wanted to go to university. So in the midst of the argument, an old lady approached and she said to kindness, do you want to go to university? And kindness said to her, yes, I would like to. And the old lady responded and said to her, I will pay your fee to go to university. So kindness responded, but I do not know you. The old lady said, take me to your mother. So the mother and the old lady discussed her payment. The mother said to her, but we do not know you. The old lady looked at kindness and said to her, thank you for your apples. She said to kindness, thank you for your apples. Who was the old lady? The old woman. The lady is the same, the same old lady that said the same business. So she's smelly, but the same old lady for a long time, about 10 years ago. Wonderful talent, amen? I may can sing, but not like her. 
her. Because sometimes when we start seeing my brother over there, they laugh after me. And say, you know, with me, I stay safe because we there over here, so I'm the music over there. Amen? But over here is using the talent, it has improved. Don't worry. So, who is a hero? Kindness. Who said that? Cut yourself, man. Wonderful. So, kindness in the story was a hero because she helped that old lady. So, a hero is somebody that give themselves to be used. Used of God. Avail themselves to do service for others. And not just for your friend, no. Because some people will use their talent to help their friend. So sometimes when you're at school and because you know mathematics and brother Joe over here might not know it so well. But because you don't like Joe, you're not going to help Joe, don't it? Yeah man, so how we do it? We're not do it. Yes. Because you honor your friend, you're not going to help Joe. But if Mitzi are your friend, you are going to help Mitzi. But when you have special talent, when you have a talent, you use it to help everybody as much as you can. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. So many times we see where heroes put their lives at risk to help other people. They get themselves out of their comfort zone so others can be comfortable. Amen? They have great courage, outstanding achievements. So nobody that sits around and don't do anything don't have any great achievements. Because you can't sit down and fold your hands and expect that things is just going to come to you. You have to get up, go out there, and do something, don't it? If you want to become the pilot or the teacher or the doctor or the nurse or the lawyer, then you have to first go to what? School. You have to go to what? School. school to get the proper education. And it's not just basic school. You have to move on to primary. Then you move on to high school. And then you move on to university. So it's all about a process. And if peradventure you stop at primary school, you can't become a doctor. Because the primary school education cannot get you into the medicine field, don't it? Don't it? Not at all. So you have to get up and do things that some may not do to become a hero. What is selfishness? It is caring about your own well-being. So you go to school and you have a lot of lunch. And poor Matthew you don't have no lunch. Don't it? And you sit up in the corner and you eat up the lunch. And you say, me? Me not give Matthew none. He could have dead for you hungry. Don't it? Don't it? Because Matthew might know we favor it. We do it, you know? But that is what? Selfishness. Not because Matthew is not your friend. That no say you cannot share the quite of food with Matthew. Don't it? Because later on it might be that you fall in the same position and you don't have any lunch. And if Matthew have lunch, don't you want Matthew to give you some? Yes. But sometimes Matthew might look at it and say, Me? Remember, say, when we live home with the other day, you never give me none. Even though that's not right, don't it? So not because you're never kind to me, mean I'm not going to be kind to you. Because at the end of the day, it's about you being the hero, don't it? So even though being selfish is desiring to have for yourself and nobody else. That does not mean if a person is selfish to you, you are going to be selfish to them. Because that is also selfishness. Amen? So let us talk about some of
from the people that we know. And if these people were selfish, you and I would not have known them. And the contributions that they have made, they would not have made it. And a and, and few months ago, we see that some of these people were awarded as heroes. What about you saying Bolt? Who knows about you saying Bolt? Everybody's supposed to know about you saying Bolt, don't it? Yes, man. Because he's the what? He's the what? Yeah, look at the whole time in the seat at home. He's the what? He's the what? He is the fastest man alive, right? And think about it. Because you said Bolt uses talent. He became what? Came what? He became what? A hero. A hero. And what else? He became famous, right? And what else? Fast, what else? Rich, what else? Strong, anything else? You can't believe this. Who don't know what's going on in the country? Talk to me, I see. Smartest. So you say gold is the fastest man in the world, and because he utilizes his talent, he became rich. And after becoming rich, he was able to assist his own country. Because we see where he made donation to schools. Amen, somebody? So when you do not hide your talent, it can take you to great places and put you in position where you can help other people. Right? Right, children? Right. What about your teachers? What if your teachers has, had decided not to show up for work? Would you know what you know now? Would have taught you math? Would have taught you English? Science? Would have taught you? Social studies? Who said your mom? Your mom. Me. All right? So because the teachers have decided to use their talents, when you go to school, you learn. You acquire what is necessary to take you into a bright future. What about the doctors and the nurses? What if they had decided to hide their passion for loving and taking care of other people when they are sick? Think about it. You go into the hospital feeling a lot of pain, crying, and the nurses and doctors decided, oh me, I'm not using my talent to help you today. What will happen to you? Die. You'll probably die. Or you will be lying here in pain. But because somebody has decided to use their talent to assist you, you can have good health. Sometimes the nurses might give an injection and it might hurt. But at the end of the day, you feel what? Better. You feel better. Right? We're coming down nicely. What about the pastors? What if they had withheld their talents and not prayed for you? That God cover you, carry you to school safe, take you all back safe. When we listen on the news, on the radio, many children are dying. Some are being captured, kidnapped. But you are here today because somebody's praying, using their talent to pray that God keep you safe, that God protect you as you go to school day after day. Amen. What about the cooks? Your mom cooks, your father cooks. When you go to school, you have the person that cook. If they had decided to with all their talent, who in here can cook? Grandma, wonderful. Who taught you to cook? 
grandma, mommy, sister, mommy, father, mother, uncle. So we are different persons. So because they had the talent, they passed it down to you. Right? But before you could have cooked, they had to cook proper meals. So you could do what? So you could learn. Alright, we're getting to that part. What's the first thing? Why do you need food? To eat. To eat. To do what? To survive. Because food gives you nutrients that give you energy, that repairs your cells and do all the nice things, right? Right, children? Yes. So because your mother or your grandfather or your father had the talent of cooking, they cook you good meals. So you could be here strong and healthy. So mama, you don't have energy, you can't keep quiet. Don't it? Because you eat a lot of food, carbohydrates, protein, your vitamins, and all of them. What about the janitors? The person that keep the surrounding at school clean. If they were not keeping it clean, you could have gotten sick. Different germs, different bacteria. So these are people that use their talent to take care of all of you children. So because we have persons serving us every day, we are to serve others. So whatever it is that you can do, maybe you can sing, you can dance, you can act, whatever it is that you can do, what can you do?
great people among us. Amen? Amen. 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 And if you use your talent, if you use those talents, then whatever you put your mind to, if you do not allow selfishness to be a part of you, then whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve. Amen? 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 Amen. I believe at one point you said God never knew he was going to be the fastest man in the world. But nevertheless, he practiced, he put away selfishness, he grew confidence, and he did what was relevant. And he did his thing. Amen? Amen? So we're coming down nicely. One more activity. Come, three persons just come to the tree. <laughs> the tree. <laughs> tree. 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 And there's the money. And the money then. And there's the money then. And you want to get to the tree. Alright, what there were some servants in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And a man gave to them talents. So the talents in the Bible is speaking of money. So the man gave one, one talent. To another he gave two. And to another he gave five. So let's say in Jamaica I turned to one, one got a hundred dollars. One got two hundred dollars. And one got five hundred. So the Bible said that the one that got two and five worked and attained more money. But the one that got one, he went and ate. Alright? So, you got one talent. Them chest I. $20 and $50. <laughs> 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 Alright, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to find persons that go to your church and you're going to make them give you more money on that. Right? And don't stop until they give you. Don't stop till they go in the first thing you can give you. And any money you make, you have to check it, or you check it and done, and you're money. Yo, we're so touchy, see what you're saying. You're not going to be here. Come, we're going to do a song meantime there, collecting. If you're happy, I don't know it, say amen. 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 If you're happy, I don't know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy, I don't know it, say amen. If you're happy, I don't know it, say amen. If you're happy, I don't know it, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. 
they are going to tell you. So, so she received five talents to work. They taught and worked. Matthew never worked. Poor Matthew. I already said they are Matthew. They are going to say Joe. Nice. So they are going to tell us how much they made on. Stop begging me and tell me, Matthew. They never worked. They never worked, Matthew. They never worked. So we are, we are going to check. And they are going to tell you how much they made on their talent. Okay, so she has a 20 quest and she has 750 Jamaican dollars. Clap her hands. How much is that US? $149 So I guess she has almost what? Almost 3000 Put your hands together for her. Wrap up your money and feel your money. Wrap up your money. Oh, so wrap it up. So the servant went out and worked. And when the master came, he had it more to the servant. So when you go out and you work, God will multiply what you have done. Come on, somebody. Come on, children. So when you use what you have effectively, then God will add more to what you have. Because God loves children so much that when the disciples turned them away, he rebuked them and said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Amen? So we have another servant. She's going to tell us how much she heard. $1,320. Clap her man. So remember, full ice cream when you get nobody. Or if somebody wants a little ice cream, you can help, help. All right? So go on. Matthew, you want money? Take your money, Matthew. All right, go on this one. It's not working. Give me. So, so. Shut Hello, I go over here, so no. So Shanti receiving and she shared. Sister Monica is a girl who wants to leave her. Let she give what she wants. Can I get one here? Lord Jesus, give me a word. All right, Shanti, don't give everything. Let's talk to yourself. All right. Shanti wise, you know where about Shanti? All right, you can go back to your seat. So the, 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 the sir. Receive one talent. The Bible says the servant when it went talent. You see, if you have a net packet, you know, so bury it. So the servant went out and buried his one talent. So because the servant buried his talent, he did not receive anything. So the Bible said when the master came back, he took the talent away from him. Give back the dollar. Don't forget. So he took the talents away from him and gave it, where Shanti? To another. The one that had ten talent. Amen? Amen? So this says to us that whatever we have, we ought to use it. Right? Amen. Because when we use it, we do what? Get more. We get more. So clap at you. So what is Shanti? Where is my other worker? Tell us your name, Siti. And so 
Sophia of Carrie Mahala knows right now, has chosen not to work, but has sat down and decided, oh, I'm not going to do anything. What will have happened to them? They will have lost what they have received. So, like, why took back my one dollar from Matthew? I would have took back my fifty dollars from Shanti and my hundred dollar from Sophia. But because they worked, because they worked, they receive an increase. So, I want to leave this with your children. Majority of you, you are going to school. You are going to what? If you don't see them all, they are going to what? School. School. What the word is? Alright, you can't beat that. So majority of you, some are in basic school, some are in primary school, some are in high school, and some are in university. Right? But in order for you to succeed, you have to put in the what? Work. The what? Work. The what? Work. Like my little friend said, she worked at school. So majority of you, you are not going out to a big person work, but you have school work to do. And when it comes to any work, there has to be sacrifice. And this is where you put away the selfishness. So when you want to watch the TV, and you know you have exam two days ahead, what do you do? You know what? You know what? You study. Because if you leave the book and go and watch TV, what will what may be happen? TV funny. You will do what? You will do what? I get a low grade. Because when we are going to school, we get one B, we buy. Because we don't like B. We like what? A. A. Who's a C? <laughs> she has a cat. So, put in the work and you get the result. Because if you fail, you have to do it over. And sometimes, for you not, for those of you that are doing CXC or in college, the mother has to find extra money to send you an evil institution for you to reset the subject. Right? Right? But if you had done the work, then that would not have happened. So many persons that I understand what some of the children do these days, they watch TV, they've surfed the internet, they're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and everything. And then when they go to exam, they go to them head. Lord help me, he says, which Lord is going to help you? You have to put in the word. If you don't study, God cannot bring back anything to the remembrance of the memory. Bring back TikTok. It is what is there that God can bring back. So don't stay there on Facebook, watching TV, and doing all the things when you should be doing what? Study. 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 So you can pass and become better men and women of tomorrow. Come on somebody, clap yourselves. We have a problem in society today where we see persons coming into the work field and they don't even know the job. Why? Because in university these days, they can pay persons to sit their exams. So when they come into the work world, they don't know what to do. 
And this is because of selfishness. They don't want to do the work. So they pay somebody to do it for them. And just imagine, you go into an hospital and the nurses and the doctors there do not know how to take care of you because they do not they, they did not put in the work because of their selfishness. What will happen to you? You will probably die. Right? Because they did not put in the work to know what to do to take care of you. And so it is with all of you. If you do not put in the work to do what is right, you will not operate in the best of your ability. So as the theme reminds you today, what is the theme? So I'm going to repeat the theme twice. And then everybody is going to say it. Amen? And if I don't see it, some of you say it, you know what I'm going to do? Yes. Use your talent to be a hero and not for selfishness. Use your talent to be a hero and not for selfish next all the children stand are you ready yeah. so after two everybody and you are going to say it like you mean it. And you are going to leave here believing that whatsoever talent you have, once you use it, God will make it effective. And you will become better men and women of tomorrow. So come on children, stand at attention, get serious, stop the talking. After two, <laughs> after two, one, two. Use your talent to be a hero and not for selfishness. Another time. Use your talent to be a hero and not for selfishness. Clap yourself. Wonderful. Be seated. Who is hungry? Who is hungry? So everybody hungry? Yes. All right, I'm going to let you go. Not yet. <laughs> So remember, when you leave here and you go back to your different Sunday schools, use your talent. Don't shy away from things, but get involved. Be a part of what is happening. Amen. Stand, we are going to pray. All the children come to the house. Now. I'm going to ask a few adults just come.
received God's word, and God's word is uh, very solid, very firm, and encouraging. And we ask that each of you, as you leave this church house, you ensure that you go into action with God's word. Okay? Now, our refreshment is being served. So it's not wise for you to leave the room to go there because it's still being served. So we have a few moments to do some very important things. So when you look at the program, you'll see a section for a specific targeted prior. Um, you will also have seen some scripts given to you to allow you to write your requests your passion, your dream for yourself and also for your Sunday school. Um, I'm going to invite our pastors